Judy Shaw for NYC Floor Talk. I'm here in NYSE Pacific, and joining me today is Krishna Gade. He is founder and CEO at Fiddler AI. Krishna, it's wonderful to have you here. Thanks for joining me today. Thank you so much for having me, Judy. Oh, my pleasure. My pleasure. So now, Krishna, tell me, what is enterprise AI observability? And tell me, what are the challenges enterprises are facing, and how can they be addressed with AI observability? Absolutely. See, I think you know AI, we are in the midst of this big AI transformation, right? Um, you know, pretty much every business is going to get affected by AI, and this new technology is going to change like the workflows and the way you know the companies build products and users will experience them. But th there is a fundamental problem with AI. Unlike traditional software, AI or the AI models, as they say, are a black box to humans. You know. It's not something that a human can understand how an AI model is generating a piece of content or making a particular prediction. So it's very important for humans to be able to use AI effectively. You need to have transparency into how it works. And that's where observability comes in, so that you can actually create safeguards and guardrails around how AI is used and how it's making predictions, how it's making you know, content generation or predicting you know someone's credit score, or you know predicting in you know, an outcome of a you know particular uh, insurance application. So all of these things need to be monitored and and observed continuously, so that we are building trust into AI. So as humans, we can actually you know use it in a responsible and trustworthy manner. And that's where you know AI observability is you know plays a critical role. All right. So tell me, how is it playing out for ML ops? Yeah, so the, the field of ML ops or machine learning ops essentially is a, is a framework to you know, operationalize AI technologies. You know, and, and when it comes to operationalizing, what that means is I'm actually making them useful in my business applications. It could be my you know, customer support application or my marketing application or my core product application. And in those cases, you know, observability really becomes the visibility layer. So essentially you can think about AI applications running and delivering their predictions to end users. And Fiddler's or you know, AI observability software like Fiddler is monitoring these AI systems and ensuring that they are making high performance uh, decisions, ensuring there is no bias in those decisions, ensuring there is no data privacy issues coming out of those decisions, and making sure as a company, I'm actually deploying AI in a responsible and trustworthy manner. And that's why AI observability is super critical for trustworthy ML ops. Mm -hmm. Okay, and tell me, how is it playing out for LL LLM ops? LLM ops. So LLM ops is like this new branch of ML ops that has emerged, especially with the rise of chat GPT and large language models. This, this field of applying large language models for you know, newer applications, again, customer support, marketing, or co-pilot type of applications. And LLM models are, have some specific things that you, know, you need to be really aware of. For example, LLM models can hallucinate in the sense they can make up things that don't, that don't exist, that are not facts. So if you're providing a customer support with an LLM model, it can make up things that are not actually true and, 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 and can actually, you know, customer might be in a bad situation using that information. Similarly, LLM models can actually pr produce unsafe content because they are trained upon the corpus of web and which has all kinds of language in it. So therefore, it's very important to set up guardrails around these LLM models and continuously monitor and observe them so that you're not producing incorrect information or you're not providing unsafe responses to your users. And that's where you know, observability becomes even more important for LLM operations. Mm -hmm. All right, so tell me, Krishna, how do you define responsible AI? Responsible AI is essentially a framework or process to develop AI in a trustworthy manner, right? See, we are essentially in this, in this generation where we are going to build AI systems for our future, for our kids and, and, and their grandkids. And so the, the work that we are going to do to develop these AI applications, we need to make sure that these applications are not inadvertently making biased decisions. They, they are transparent in, in terms of how they are making up decisions. You know, there is, they are basically you know, in, in making sure that they are including multiple parties in, on, the, on the table when you're designing your application. So it's a process to build a trustworthy AI application that is inclusive, that is fair, that, is, that it actually you know, can make sure that you're, you're doing the right thing for your users, right? And so AI observability is a, is a vehicle to deliver responsible AI. You know, it's a way to implement the process. 
by having this visibility, what humans and AI engineers, AI teams, what they can do is they can actually create a culture of trust in the organization. Because now all of a sudden you will have visibility into how your AI works. Therefore, multiple people can ask questions and you can hold teams accountable. So all of a sudden you can create a process where you know you can you know make sure that you are building responsible AI applications for the future and for your consumers. Mm -hmm. All right, now given the huge momentum in AI and ML market spurred by chat GPT slash LLMs and the already existing innovation going on with predictive models, how do you see the future evolving around operationalization and pro pro productionization in this space? Absolutely. So we started Fiddler with the premise to build trust into AI, right? We started in the predictive ML era, which is pre-chat GPT, pre-LLMs, where you know, customers like banks, insurance companies were building, you know, models to, you know, predict credit scores, you know, apply insurance premiums or, you know, process claims of users and, you know, produce, you know, recommendations for on news and, and on applications like, you know, social media, right? And so we sort of came out with the product to monitor all these types of applications and make sure those predictive models are working as they as you expect. Now Eight months ago, or, or ten months ago now, when ChatGPT launched, you know, everything changed, right? So large language models uh, have, you know, just been phenomenal in terms of in being able to show capabilities that they can produce content as if a human is generating it. They're amazingly coherent. They can actually write, uh, you know, about a topic that an expert can write. But at the same time, there are a lot of these risks that LLMs carry. The things that I talked about, that they can make up things that they don't, they don't exist. You know, they can hallucinate, they can produce unsafe responses. They can sometimes leak private data. You know, for example, they can memorize the training data in a company, let's say, in a, you know, let's say a bank is training a, an LLM on their policy data. They could memorize some of the private data and, and leak, it to the, leak it to the external parties. So all of these risks need to be safeguarded so that when you are when you're deploying this amazing technology, you're doing it the right way for both your company, for the end user, and for the entire society. And that's where AI observability plays a very critical role in operationalizing these LLM applications so that you're using them in a safe and responsible manner. All right, now to switch gears just a little bit. So you founded the company. So tell me, what sparked you to start the company? Absolutely, this, this aspect of trust around AI, right? I've been working in tech for about, you know, 20 years now out of that, you know, leave aside five years at Fiddler, I spent about 15 years working in big tech companies like Microsoft, Twitter, Pinterest, Facebook. All of this while I've been involved in teams that are building data analytics, machine learning applications. I've seen both the good and bad effects of machine learning. You know, when machine learning or AI became very complex at these companies, and we didn't, we, didn't have, we didn't have proper transparency or monitoring capabilities. You know, we, we saw the problems that engineering teams go through in, uh, to, you know, when people ask, you know, a, f a favorite question would be like, hey, I'm going through this news feed of recommendations that Facebook is applying me. Why am I seeing this new story? You know, why is the system suggesting me this news content? And so without having the transparency, AI teams cannot answer this question, you know. The usual answer would be, I don't know, it's just the model. And we have seen this actually happen in real world. And so we wanted to mitigate that problem. We wanted to create transparency and trust so that when you actually want to understand an AI model, you could use Fiddler software to really unpack what's going on within your AI and understand how it's, going, how it's making up those decisions and you know, predictions for you. All right, well, Krishna, wonderful to talk with you. Thanks for joining me on Floor Talk today. Absolutely, thank you. Thank you, Judy.